Hey developers, today we are going to continue on with our Nuxt.js app. In the first video, we went over how to create the Nuxt.js app. We went over some really basics of the app. And now we're gonna go look at a little bit of routing and a little bit of transitions. Let's take a look. And before we get started, let me just remind you guys that Udemy is having a $10 sale. You can see the links below. I have some of my favorite courses listed. And also, if you're really interested in Vue.js, I would highly recommend you check out my Vue.js in action book. I don't always uh, mention it, but I do have it. If you look at the links below, you can join my mailing list where I'll give you the first chapter for free. And if you wanna buy the book and support the channel, that is great. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the app we created last time. You can see here, it's just something really basic. We just have this Hello Eric, this is the basic template. We used a message that we got from the app here. So we're gonna look at routing. Routing is really interesting in Nuxt. You can actually uh, dynamically create your routes using the file tree. So let's give that a shot. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new page here. And let's just call it eric.view. And you can see here, it's got added here. and really all we need and a lot of these things is is not necessarily you have to have them but if you want to do actually have information in your template you need a template here so I'm gonna put an h2 and go hello world and then we're going to add a script tag and inside the script tag we're going to export default and this is where we can put in our data objects things like that and then we can also have a style tag I mean this is all optional we don't necessarily have to have it, which is really nice. So let's see, hello world, Eric. And that's not gonna be much else on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And it rebuilds. So if I go to the server here and type in Eric, you see, yep, yep, looks like my app is working. Hello world, Eric, which is perfect. So what we can do now is let's see if we can add a link to get to the new route we just created. So if we look at our index file, and we're still using just basically what came with it, let's change this hello message. Let's change this message and make it a link instead. So we're gonna add, it's called nuxt.link, and it's exactly like the router.link if, if you have been using Vue.js at all. So you can put two and then where you want it to go to. So I can just basically put Eric in here and it doesn't, it doesn't have curly brackets, actually angle brackets. And then we'll just move this right here. And I'll make sure I do this right. And if I save it, you can see now it's a link. It has a big bar underneath it. And if we click on it, great, it goes to our hello world Eric route that we created, which is exactly what we want. So let's go into the Eric view and let's let's add this, let's make this a link too. So we'll do it again, lux.link. We'll do two equals slash. Then we'll just copy this out. And we'll paste it here. Save it. All right, now it's a link. So if we click on it, you can see we're going back and forth between our different routes. And you can do all sorts of things here. You can have nested routes, so you can have multiple different routes here. You can have dynamic routes, which is pretty interesting. You just need to have an underscore under it. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and create a dynamic route, and I'll show you how that works. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder here called posts. And inside posts, I'm gonna create a new file. Let's just start something simple with index.view. And like I said, with Nux, this is automatically, the router is automatically created for us, the routes. So we should be able to just create a template here. And inside the template, I'll create a div tag. And I'll just do an h2, and we'll call this posts route. And if you look at our starter pack, we can go ahead and just type in posts and you can see there's the post routes, it's working. 
But if we want to create a dynamic route, and what I mean by dynamic route is that you can see here in the URL bar, I can do, I want to be able to do something to go like, uh, like a route like this, and I want to be able to put a number or name in. So one, two, of course right now it doesn't work. So what I can do is I can create a new file. I'm going to call it underscore id.view. You can name it whatever you want. You just have to make sure you put an underscore in front. And since I have ID of view, I'm going to create a template here. Create a div tag again. And then inside here, uh, I can type whatever I want. So let's type in, this is the ID posts ID route. And normally if you saw it in a, like a router file, it would have this colon in front of it. But like I said, with Nux, it's automatically created. So if I save that and I go into posts and I type one afterwards, you can see here it is, the route was brought up, but two. Uh, let's say I wanna go ahead and, and actually show the number. So I can do something like this. There is a route there is built into Nuxt and Vue, I believe, too, is this dollar sign route. And we can use this kind of double curly brackets to show the information that we need. So we'll do route.params.id. And let's see if it comes up. See, you can see right here it says post slash two. So we can even do, we can type anything in here, Eric, post slash Eric route. And you also have access to this inside your uh, inside your script too. So if we have this, we can add the script in here. Inside the script, we'll once again export default. Save it. I have uh, one thing with Nux is it it helps you out. It automatically uh, does this error checking for you. You can turn this off, but it's on by I don't know convention. So it's complaining that I have too many spaces. So I could put something like this where, uh, let's create in methods. And inside the method, I'll create a uh, pop-up. And inside the pop-up, I'm gonna create a alert box that uses this.route.params.id. Since I'm inside the JavaScript here, I need to put this in front of it. I'll save it, and it has one problem, an expected indentation of four, so I will just do that. Okay, so it's happy. And just like in normal view, I can create buttons, and I can put actions on them. Uh, I can do V on, and then I can do a click. Uh, shorthand for this, uh, so what this tells right here is I can do pop up is whenever you click this button, it's gonna automatically, uh, it's gonna act, uh, this event, this click event is gonna be associated with the pop-up method. So I'll type in press me, make it a button, save it. And I will wait for it to reload. There we go. And if you click the button, there's the pop-up, says Eric. So we know that this is working since I'm in the Eric route. If I go one, two, three, hit press me, it says one, two, three. By the way, the shorthand for this V on directive, I'm kind of going fast here, but you know, bear with me. You can actually, instead of doing that, you can put an at sign. So you have to type V on all the time. So it should work the same way. So I'll reload it. Still works the same way. So that's just a real quick introduction into dynamic routes and normal routes. You can also nest routes. So the last thing I wanted to cover is transitions. And transitions are really simple to do. So what we want to do, you, you have a built-in transition inside Nuxt here. And we can see here in the, the guides, dynamic nested routes to have this transition and the default transition name is page. So we can kind of just follow along what it says here in the guide. We're gonna go ahead and create a new asset. And we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it main.css. In the main CSS, I'm gonna copy and paste this code. 
I'm going to alter it a little bit. What this is saying is that uh, what happens is it automatically changes the tags on the pages on the CSS. So when you enter a page uh, and you leave a page there, you can the CSS will change. So let's just change this from 0.5 to, I don't know, five seconds so we can see it. We also need to go into this nux.config.js and we have to let it know where this file's at. So we'll add this code right here. That way it knows where it's at. And it's always a good idea just to restart it. Let's see here. Make sure we don't get any errors. Oops, looks like we have a problem. I make sure I need to put a comma there. And I'll run it again. npm run dev. And this will this will actually CSS file will be available throughout the application is what we want to do. So now we have our transitions that we have in place and it should work. We can also at any time in any individual page, we can we have these style tags. We can put in style in for each individual page and that's scoped to that page itself, which is really nice. But nonetheless, we went ahead and did that. Let me refresh it. So now I'm gonna hit hello, Eric. You can see here it's slowly fading away. It's taking five seconds and then the hello world Eric is fading back in. So that's kind of neat. That's built into to I believe view and Nuxt. So that makes it really cool to do transitions and cool things. So that's it for today. We just covered a, a few basics of transitions and routes. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. That really helps. Also check out some of my other videos on, on Vue.js. I'm and next, I'm trying to do a lot more and check out my book on Vue.js in action. Thanks.